Did you know that Indonesia is home to over 5,000 species of orchids? That's right. This vibrant country is a dazzling array of floral beauty, with orchids taking center stage. Orchids are one of the largest plant families in the world, and nowhere is this more evident than in the sprawling Indonesian archipelago. Each island is a treasure trove of unique species, with more than 5,000 varieties dotting the lush landscapes. And if you're in search of a true orchid paradise, look no further than the Bogor Botanical Gardens. Nestled in the heart of Bogor City, this garden is a sanctuary for these stunning flowers, housing an array of species that captivate the senses with their vibrant colors and intricate designs. So are you ready to embark on an exploration of these stunning orchid species? What makes orchids so special, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in their unique attributes and fascinating survival mechanisms that truly set them apart from other plant families. Let's delve into the captivating world of orchids and explore what makes these blooms so extraordinary. Firstly, the diversity of orchids is truly something to marvel at. With over 5,000 species spread across the Indonesian archipelago alone, orchids come in an array of colors, shapes, and sizes. From the vibrant hues of orange, pink, and purple to the more subtle tones of white and green, orchids offer a stunning visual spectacle. The shapes and sizes, too, are diverse, ranging from the petite and delicate to the large and extravagant. Each orchid variety has its own unique charm. But the allure of orchids extends beyond their visual appeal. They are famed for their impressive adaptability, managing to thrive in a wide range of habitats, from the humidity of rainforests to the arid climates of deserts. This adaptability is largely due to their extraordinary survival mechanisms. Some orchids, for instance, have evolved to mimic the appearance and scent of female insects to attract male pollinators. Others have developed the ability to photosynthesize underground, enabling them to survive in low-light environments. Another fascinating aspect of orchids is their symbiotic relationship with fungi. Orchids rely on specific fungi to access nutrients, particularly during their early growth stages. This interdependence is yet another testament to the orchid's remarkable adaptability and resilience. What's more, orchids have a unique reproductive strategy. Their seeds are among the smallest in the plant kingdom, enabling them to be carried far and wide by the wind. This has allowed orchids to colonize a wide array of habitats around the world. These qualities make orchids not just beautiful to look at, but also intriguing to study. Their vibrant colors and diverse forms captivate the eye, while their unique survival strategies and reproductive adaptations fascinate the mind. So, the next time you marvel at the beauty of an orchid, remember that there's more to these blooms than meets the eye. They're not just pretty faces, they're survivors, adapters, and a testament to the wonders of evolution. Now imagine stepping into the Bogor Botanical Gardens, a sanctuary for these exotic beauties. This enchanting oasis, nestled in the heart of Bogor, Indonesia, is more than just a garden. It's a testament to the country's commitment to preserving and showcasing its rich biodiversity, particularly its stunning array of orchids. As you wander through the gardens, you'll find yourself immersed in a lush, tropical paradise. The air is thick with the scent of damp earth and vibrant foliage, punctuated by the delicate perfume of blooming orchids. Every corner you turn reveals another breathtaking view, another splendid display of nature's artistry. The Bogor Botanical Gardens are home to an impressive collection of over 5,000 orchid species, each more captivating than the last. From the elusive ghost orchid with its pale translucent petals, to the vibrant jewel orchid boasting leaves that shimmer like precious stones, there's an orchid here to captivate every visitor. But the gardens are more than just a showcase for these exotic blooms. They also play a crucial role in conservation efforts. The dedicated staff work tirelessly to protect and propagate these precious plants, many of which are endangered in the wild. Through their efforts, the Bogor Botanical Gardens serve as a refuge for these delicate flowers, ensuring that future generations can enjoy their beauty too. Delving into the history of the gardens, you'll find that they've been a hub of botanical research since their establishment in the early 19th century. Over the years, they've contributed significantly to our understanding of the world's flora, particularly that of the Malaysian region. A visit to the Bogor Botanical Gardens is like stepping into a living museum of orchids. Each flower tells a story, each petal holds a secret. It's an experience that engages all your senses, immersing you in a world of beauty, fragrance, and tranquility. It's a place where you can lose yourself in nature's splendor and find yourself marveling at the sheer diversity and resilience of life on our planet. As we wander through the gardens, let's shine a spotlight on some of the most notable orchid varieties. Our first stop is the magnificent Paphiopodilum, also known as the slipper orchid. 
This showstopper is as unique as they come, with its distinctive pouch-shaped lip, which gives it its slipper-like appearance. Found in the cool mountainous regions of Indonesia, the slipper orchid is renowned for its intricate patterns and wide range of color variations. It's not just a pretty face, however. In traditional herbal medicine, the slipper orchid is used to treat a variety of ailments from coughs to fevers. Next, we find ourselves in the company of the dendrobium. This genus, one of the largest in the orchid family, is a true testament to the diversity of this plant family. Dendrobiums are highly adaptable, thriving in a variety of habitats from the lowland tropics to the highland mountains. What sets them apart are their elongated pseudobulbs and the clusters of vibrant blooms that burst forth in a riot of color. In Indonesian culture, dendrobiums are often used in religious ceremonies and rituals, symbolizing purity and divine beauty. Our journey continues with the Cymbidium, known for its large, waxy flowers and long, grass-like leaves. Native to the subtropical regions of Indonesia, this orchid is often referred to as the boat orchid due to the shape of its blooms. The Cymbidium has a long flowering period and is highly prized for its use in floral arrangements. Beyond its aesthetic appeal, the Cymbidium also holds significant cultural value in Indonesia, with its blooms symbolizing friendship and respect. Last, but certainly not least, we come across the Vanda. With their vibrant colors and unique patterns, Vandas are often considered the queens of the orchid family. These orchids are epiphytic, meaning they grow on other plants for support, but do not harm their hosts. Instead, they draw nutrients from the air, rain, and debris around them. In the world of perfumery, Vandas are highly sought after for their intoxicating fragrance, which is used to create some of the world's most exquisite perfumes. Each of these orchid species adds a unique brushstroke to Indonesia's rich botanical tapestry. What a journey we've embarked on, exploring the world of Indonesia's orchids. We've delved into the heart of the orchids world, a world that is as diverse as it is beautiful. Indonesia, with its rich biodiversity, is home to more than 5,000 species of these mesmerizing plants, making it a veritable paradise for orchid enthusiasts and botanists alike. Each species, with its unique qualities, tells a story of evolution and adaptation, reflecting the intricate balance of nature. The journey took us through the enchanting pathways of the Bogor Botanical Gardens, a sanctuary that houses a significant portion of this floral diversity. It's more than just a garden, it's a living museum, a testament to Indonesia's commitment to preserving and showcasing its natural heritage. Walking through its grounds, we've experienced the magic of coming face to face with nature's masterpieces, each orchid variety a testament to nature's artistic prowess. We've also cast a spotlight on some of the notable orchid varieties that call Indonesia home. From the vibrant dendrobium to the delicate phalaenopsis, each species we've discussed holds its own charm and significance. Their stunning colors, intricate patterns, and unique growth habits are a testament to the wonders of biodiversity. But our journey doesn't end here. The world of orchids is vast and ever-evolving, with new species discovered and described regularly. The exploration of this fascinating world continues, and there's always more to learn, more to see, and more to appreciate. So, as we wrap up this journey, let's carry with us the essence of what we've learned. The orchid isn't just a flower. It's a symbol of nature's infinite creativity and the rich biodiversity that Indonesia proudly hosts. Remember, each time you admire an orchid, you're appreciating a tiny piece of Indonesia's incredible biodiversity.